Hi, second graders. I'm so glad you're here with me today to read the story, Henry and Mudge, by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Susie Stevenson. If you have your anthology, go ahead and open up to page 14 and follow along as we read the story. If you don't have your anthology, that's okay too. You can just follow along with the highlighted words on the screen. The genre or type of story is realistic fiction. Realistic fiction is a story that could happen in real life. As you read, look for characters who act like real people and story events that could happen to you or to someone you know. Before we get started, let's meet the author, Cynthia Ryland. Henry and Mudge have starred in more than 25 books by Cynthia Ryland. A musical based on their adventures once toured the United States. The part of Mudge was played by a grown man in a dog costume. Let's meet the illustrator. Remember, the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures for a story. The name of the illustrator for the story Henry and Mudge is Susie Stevenson. Susie Stevenson loves drawing the character of Mudge. In fact, she has two big dogs of her own. They don't drool as much as Mudge, she says. As we read, let's think about our essential question. That just means a question that's really important for us to think about as we read the story. Our essential question for this story is, what is a perfect pet like? Let's begin our story. Henry had no brothers and no sisters. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no friends on his street. I want to live on a different street, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no pets at home. I want to have a dog, he told his parents. Sorry, they almost said. But first, they looked at their house with no brothers and sisters. Then they looked at their street with no children. Then they looked at Henry's face. Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said. I want to hug you, Henry told his parents. And he did. Henry searched for a dog. Not just any dog, said Henry. Not a short one, he said. Not a curly one, he said. And no pointed ears. Then he found Mudge. Mudge had floppy ears, not pointed. And Mudge had straight fur, not curly. But Mudge was short. Because he's a puppy, Henry said. He'll grow. And did he ever. He grew out of his puppy cage. He grew out of his dog cage. He grew out of seven collars in a row. And when he finally stopped growing, he weighed 180 pounds, he stood three feet tall, and he drooled. I'm glad you're not short, Henry said, and Mudge licked him, then sat on him. Who do you think is taller, Henry or Mudge? All right, second graders, I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to smile, and I'll see you soon. Bye.